Todd. Morning. Uh, Andre Stecker looked like he was uh, pretty comfortable and part of a regular rotation today. He says he's ready to go. Uh, will we see him tomorrow? And what? Do you There's think? a good chance you'll see him tomorrow. I've been told that he's ready to go too. Now I haven't had that opportunity, obviously, to follow up after practice just to uh, to get the nod uh, from the training staff. But um, the plan is to play him and. Um, you know, we would have preferred to have some type of game to put him in um, and, and get the rust off, but we don't have that. And uh, he's got to play his first game at some point. So I think the players are excited. Maybe they'll add a little energy to our group. And I know he's chomping at the bit. Um, I mean, he plays all the phases. He was a killer and a power play guy as well. Um, how much do you expect from him after a seven-month layoff? Do you give him looks on all those units, or is it a slower work back in when, he, when he's back? The plan is to use him in those situations, but his play and his ability to read and react and the pace that he plays at and how he feels physically uh, will dictate how much he gets in those areas. Uh, we want him up and running as quick as possible, so he's going to need to experience the power play and the penalty kill. Uh, but if it's not clicking for him right off the bat, then we'll cut him back. But I can't give you a... Um, uh, you know, an exact formula. He'll dictate that by his play and, and his reaction to the play. For what has ailed you on the penalty kill specifically, what can he help with with the way he goes about well, he's got a He's got a good sense of anticipation of where the puck is going next on the penalty kill. You know, and again, when he's up and running and he's sharp. But he anticipates offensive plays in and around the blue paint very well, and he breaks a lot of those up. Uh, tendency to get a stick on something or even a skate to knock, uh, knock the play down. And uh, normally his clears, his ability to get the puck out in, in tough situations are pretty good too. So, um, you know, when he gets going, we believe we'll have an upgrade there. We don't hear as much recently about the speed of this team. It was something you made mention of earlier in the season. Other people noticed uh, have you gotten whatever issues caused that out of your game? How has that changed? Well, I'd like Personnel's the same. I, I f like to think that we have. Uh, we, when we play a cleaner game, uh, and it's not just the Edmonton Oilers, anybody plays cleaner and, and checks a little bit better, makes good outlet passes, has good support, uh, your pace of play will go up. Um, like I said earlier in the year, we're not going to skate and get physically faster. Um, maybe minutely, but not enough to really uh, make a difference. But when five guys work together and they're clean, passes are on the tape rather than the feet, um, supports close rather than far, you have a tendency to play a little bit quicker and it's happened for us. When it comes to getting guys back like Talbot, Larson and Sekera, what does that do to a team's morale? It brings it up. Um, you know, those are well-respected, well-established players. Um, not only in our locker room, but in the league. And um, the belief system goes a little bit higher. They've, they've been there before. They've got a calming effect on the group and the team. And uh, the morale goes up higher. And when you win some games as players return, it just reinforces that. So we've been fortunate that way. Todd, you talked about his impact coming back on the ice. You talked about the morale. But just him as an individual, for people that aren't in the locker room, it seems like he really brings smiles out in the guys, just him as a person. What, what does Andre say? Yeah, he's, um, you know, he is a, uh, he's a fun guy to be around. He takes his craft very seriously. Um, he wears it on his shoulder. You can tell when he's excited, disappointment, frustrated. Um, yet he has a knack of bringing the group together. I think he's, he's shown good leadership skills since he's been here. Um, he's got a sense of humor to him that uh, shows up every now and then, and, and guys appreciate that. And, um, you know, it can be a bit of a rallying point as these guys return. They, they want to play well for um, Andre when he returns or for Lars or, or Clef when, he, when Clef gets back in. Good, close, tight teams will do that. They'll rally around an individual and play well for him rather than just playing with him. Okay.